Hey guys, it's Amy Star Allen here, theamystarallen.com. And I just wanted to shoot a quick video to show you how to easily add text on top of your images using um, my favorite app, which is called WordSwag. There are tons of different ways to do text on images. There's tons of different apps. I'm just gonna show you a quick demonstration with this particular app because it's my favorite one. It's the one I use more than anything else. It's just the easiest and to me has the most, um, the best selection of fonts and, and styles. So let me quickly show you. Um, so I'm just gonna click on word swag. And when I come in here, you'll see it's gonna give me the option to select, um, to take a picture with my camera or to select a picture from the library, which is the pictures that are on my phone or to get free photos. So. If you are watching this on my blog, you probably already watched the video above it where I show you how to find royalty-free images that you can use in your marketing. And one of the sites that I recommend to do that with is called Pixabay. By the way, if you're on my YouTube channel and you're not on my blog, go ahead and click the link in the description of this YouTube video and that'll take you over to my blog so that you can watch that other video as well. Because I talk about how to find free images to use in your marketing. And a lot of times what people do with images that they use in their marketing is they put text on top of them, whether it's for a Facebook cover or it's for an Instagram quote or whatever. But you want to make sure that you're using royalty-free images. And so what's cool about WordSwag is it is automatically connected to Pixabay. So you don't have to go anywhere to find an image and import it into your phone so that you can use it with this app. You can go straight to Pixabay from this app, which is one of the things I love about it. So if you click on, um, so that's what, I, I'm gonna demonstrate that for today's tutorial, but just know that you, you could click on library if you already have a picture on your phone that you wanna use, or you could click on camera if you wanna take a picture to use right then and there. But for now, I'm gonna click on free photos. It automatically brings up all of these different backgrounds that I can use. Um, there's all kinds of different stuff on here. And they're really cool. And you've probably seen some of them on Instagram and stuff because they're awesome. And a lot of people use this app. So there's even just plain colors. There's all this different stuff. But just like I showed you in the last video about Pixabay, you'll see at the top here, it says search Pixabay images. So if you have a specific keyword you want to search for, like let's say we want to do beach, you can put in whatever keyword you want and all these different images will come up for that specific keyword. So, I mean, you can literally find images for any keyword in here. Let's say we wanna do a success quote today. So I type in success, and then all these different images related to success come up. All right, so let's say we wanna choose this one. Now you'll see it's gonna give you options for the sizes. So, you know, like if you're doing a Facebook cover or a Facebook ad or something, you might want to use this. Um, Instagram stories, there's this. Um, a regular Instagram post is typically a square. You can use that. So they have all these different um, sizes and, you know, and you can scroll over and find even more. YouTube, Twitter, I mean, they have like Pinterest. They have everything that you could possibly want to create an image for on here. So. It's awesome. I mean, you can use this for pretty much all of your social media. Um, for today, just to keep it simple, I'm gonna go ahead with the square. Let's pretend I'm doing an Instagram post. When you come in, it's automatically gonna have this style of text ready to go for you. And I'm gonna show you how to change the quote and how to change the text. So all you do is you double tap, just like it says, and then delete this text, and then you can type in whatever quote you want. And you'll see down here, you can put in the author, you know, like if you're doing like a Wayne Dyer quote, you put Wayne Dyer right here. Or if you don't have a, a quote to type in, you can simply come over here and pick out of one of these so that you can, you know, find a quote that you want to use. So let's say I want to do be mindful. And you'll see it puts, it automatically puts the author here and the quote here. Um, if you don't like that quote, just keep tapping on this little arrow thing until you get to a quote that you do like. So just keep tapping it.
All right, let's say I want to use this Marianne Williamson quote. You must learn a new way to think before you can master a new way to be. So I like that. And then I'm just going to click done right here. And I don't like this style. So basically, if you look um, on the bottom, there's all these different styles that you can choose from. So I'm just basically going to click on each one until I find something that I like. And I actually like this truth and wisdom one. So I'm going to come back to that. Now, let's say I like this style, but I don't really like the way that it's laid out. So then I would just go and click through on these numbers. Basically, it's going to stay on this style, but it's going to give you some different options. Right? So if I click the number two, it changes it to this text, which I like better. I like it um, to, for this particular image. I like it to be longer like that. If I squeeze the box, it'll make the text box a little bit smaller, or I can stretch it out, make it bigger. I can actually turn it sideways too, or you know, whatever I want to do. But I'm just going to keep it upright and put it off to the left like that. Um, but you'll see that it's hard to read in white. So I either need to change the color of the font or I need to change the image to make it a little bit darker. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to start by clicking on image. I typically like to use white text. So more often than not, I will change the image before I will change the color of the text, but you might like colored text. So I'm going to show you both. If I come over to image, you'll see that all these different options pop up in the bottom for dark and light and vibrant, all this different stuff. So like if I click darken, just by clicking darken, it automatically makes it easy to read. So this is the one that I'm going to use, but let me just show you what happens when I click some of these other ones. There's all these different basically filters that you can choose from. I'm just going to use darken because that one makes my white text easy to read. Um, so, so I like it like that, but let's say, and I actually want to move this up a little bit. Let's say that you want to use a different color text though. Um, you would just click on color right here. And then there's every color you could possibly imagine. Plus there's like patterns of colors too. So like, you know, if you just, if you don't want just a straight up color, you can click on a pattern and it'll do different stuff with the pattern. Um, you know, like that, that's kind of cool. And they have all these different patterns and stuff. Um, and they have ones that are like faded from one color to another that look like that or like that. So they have all these different options. I usually use either a pink or white. So that's what it would look like in pink. And again, I'm just going to stick with white because that's what I like. So I'm going to go back to white. And then if you want to choose a very specific color, you can just go here and um, pick whatever color you want. Like if you want to use the exact same color that you have on your website or whatever to make it match, you can do that. So anyway, I got that the way I like it. So I am ready to go ahead and, oh, I, I want to just show you. So I'm using this particular font, this particular style, but I didn't even really show you that there's so, so, so many different styles. So this is the truth and wisdom. And you'll see if you scroll through here that there's just a ton, there's just a ton of different things to choose from in here. So there's something for everybody really, no matter what your style is, you can find something. And then again, all of these can be um, edited. You can change the color you know, once you choose your style, you can change the color or whatever. So you'll see, there's, there's definitely something for everybody in here. So I just wanted to show you, and, the, and it continues on and on and on. There's just a gazillion different fonts in here. This is one of the reasons I just love this app. I'm gonna go back to the one that I like. This is one I use a lot, Truth and Wisdom. Move it back to where I want it. I'm good to go. So I'm going to click save. And then it's going to give me the option of adding my logo.
So you can automatically just share this image right now. As you can see, you can share it to Instagram, Twitter, wherever you want, straight from here. I like to put my logo at the bottom before I share it. So um, if you click add your logo, you can use your same logo as last time or a new logo. I um, have a logo that I used last time, so I'm just gonna use that one. If you click new logo, you would just go to, um, you would create a logo with a transparent background and, and keep it on your phone. And then whenever you're using this app, you can select it or you can, once you use it once, you can just click same logo as last time. And so I'm gonna click same logo as last time and it automatically puts my logo in and then I can move it around wherever I want it. I like it in the bottom corner though. So I'm just gonna leave it right there and then I'm good to go. So then all I have to do is save and it automatically saves it to my camera roll on my phone. And then I can upload it to Instagram, Facebook, whatever I want to do. You can put it in your Facebook group. You can put it on your Facebook page. You can, you know, create your Facebook cover. You saw, you can create a YouTube thumbnail. You can do whatever you want with this app. The cool thing about it, like I said, is that it connects to Pixabay automatically. So you can find all these really cool images without having to worry about whether or not they're royalty free and without having to go search you know, for an image online and then save it to your phone and then start over, you know, it's all, it's all done on one app. So I hope that's been helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, let me know if it's been helpful and also let me know what your favorite apps are to add text to your photos. And um, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video. I love you guys.